Today we are marking the special occasion of the United Nations International Day of Forests. This year's theme is forests and energy. Peter, why the linkage? Well, it's quite obvious to me because if you look at uh, energy and bioenergy in particular, it's very connected to forests. Uh, out of bioenergy, a very large part of that is of course coming from wood biomass, from forests, from trees and also from uh, other agriculture residues. Overall, almost 10% of the world's energy mix comes from bioenergy in some form. And that makes forests and trees a very central part of our energy system. And what is the state of bioenergy today? Um, what are its current applications? Forest-based bioenergy is constantly evolving. Uh, still a large proportion uh, of uh, old population is using uh, wood for, for cooking and heating purpose, which is a major application. Apart from that, a forest is being utilized to convert uh, electricity. Peter, how does bioenergy fit into the global restoration agenda? Let me then first say that I don't think we should talk about a global restoration agenda. Restoration is very much something that needs to happen locally. And of course, in the local restoration agenda, energy, as Himnal has already pointed out, many communities and households depend on bioenergy from forests and trees in their daily life. Therefore, making sure that the supplies of bioenergy from the landscapes that we're trying to restore are sustainable. We need to ensure that sustainable bioenergy is available to the landscapes and the, and the communities that depend on them. And then secondly, when we restore landscapes, we try to manage them sustainably. And to do that, we need to recognize that bioenergy, forest bioenergy, is a byproduct of many other things that we produce in the landscape. That is, we shouldn't see bioenergy as a monocrop or monoculture of, of uh, trees that are to be delivered as energy. We should see bioenergy as one part of the mix of benefits that we get from the landscape. What is the research that C4 is currently doing on the bioenergy sector? We are uh, looking at a wide range of issues associated to bioenergy, uh, especially social, economic and environmental uh, aspects of bioenergy production and development in various parts of the world. Uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa, we are looking uh, uh, mainly uh, fuel wood and charcoal value chain and associated impacts uh, to the environment. And uh, in Indonesia, we are mapping uh, uh, bioenergy policies for wood-based energy development as well as uh, oil palm-based bioenergy development. Uh, in addition, uh, we are also exploring bioenergy, how can bioenergy be integrated as a part of uh, landscape restoration goals, as, as Peter mentioned earlier. Peter, are there any new developments in bioenergy um, that are interesting to follow at the moment? One thing we read a lot about these days is the possibility to, to make airline fuel out of uh, biomass and wood biomass. This is of course a very interesting development because a lot of the emissions that we have come from air transport. And uh, if we could uh, provide that fuel not from uh, fossil sources but directly from the vegetation, that could be a, a great way forward um, to reach our goals. At the same time, we need to be careful so that we don't create another excuse for continuing to fly as much as we do, because it's not only about offsetting our current emissions with something else, it's actually about reducing overall emissions as well. But how can we enhance collaboration between the government, private sector, research, um, and civil society to scale up bioenergy development um, in terms of a landscape approach? Mm we can't see energy issues in isolation. And particularly when we talk about bioenergy, we're talking about very integrated systems with, with the food sector, with the rural development uh, issues, and with the, with also with the climate change, um, as well as with forest management at large. So we need to find ways to work in an integrated fashion when to deal with bioenergy. And uh, a good platform for that is the Sustainable Development Goals and to address this need for an integrated approach to the Sustainable Development Goals, C4 has developed, together with many partners, the Global Landscapes Forum, where we 
have partners from different sectors and different interests coming together and energy is clearly, clearly part of that uh, mix. Um, it also connects to other sectors such as water. We should not only look at bioenergy um, as an energy in, in its own right from forests. We should also look at forests as watershed protection for hydroelectric dams, which is another function that indirectly connects forests with energy. And there are many other connections to make. And the, uh, the key point is that we shouldn't be afraid of the complexity that it means to integrate across sectors. We should embrace those possibilities. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you, Himlal. And thank you for watching us here at Forest News on the International Day of Forests.